Hello students, today we will start with the fourth chapter that is the Harappa civilization. Today we are going to study about one of the most ancient civilization of the world. That is the Harappa civilization. Civilization students means lifestyle. In this chapter we will learn about the lifestyle of Harappan people. Before looking at the lifestyle of the people living in Harappa, let us see how the site was discovered. A railway track was being laid at Harappa in Punjab when ancient bricks were found. Laid means put down. In 1921, during the archaeological excavation, ancient seals and bricks were found. Pictorial inscriptions were found on the seals. Similarly, in 1922, seals bearing picturographs were excavated at Mohenjo-daro in Sindh. These findings led to the discovery of an ancient and advanced Indian civilization which was 5000 years old. Today, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro are in Pakistan. Remains of this civilization have also been found in many places in India. Important ones are Rakhigari, Lothal, Surkotra, Dolavira, Kalibangan, etc. These are mainly situated in river basins. Harappan settlements had spread in the river basins of the river Ravi and Indus. Hence, this civilization is also known as Indus Valley Civilization. Don't you wonder how the city of Harappa would have been? The city of Harappa was very well planned city with various features and characteristics. Like town planning, roads, houses, sewage disposal, great bath. Let's look at them one by one in detail. Town planning. Remains of entire town have been excavated. Remains means leftovers. It shows that big walls were built around the towns for protection. Protection means defense. There were watchtowers too at regular distance on these walls. Watchtowers means observation point. Roads. Roads in town were straight and long. They intersected one another at right angles. Intersected means lie across each other. Intersecting roads divided towns into rectangular section. Houses. Each section had 25 to 30 houses. Houses were built along both the sides of the road. Baked and unbaked bricks were used in the construction of houses. Sufficient distance was maintained between two houses for proper ventilation. Ventilation means arrangement for fresh air. Houses were built on raised plinths as precaution against floods. Sewage disposal. There were closed drains on both the sides of the road. Drains means channels carrying away waste. These ran one meter beneath the ground. Special arrangements were made to ensure that they did not choke. Arrangement means process. And ensure means to make sure. Choked means to block. This shows that they were very particular about cleanliness and hygiene. Particular means specific. Hygiene means maintaining health. The Great Bath A spacious bath has been excavated at Mohenjo-daro. Spacious means with space. It measures 12 meter long, 7 meters wide and 2.5 meters deep. The inner side of the tank was built with baked bricks. That was to prevent sewage of water. 
there are steps leading down to the tank. Proper arrangements were made for drainage, cleaning and refilling the tank. Drainage means to empty the waste water. Let us now see how this great civilization was destroyed. Destroyed means damaged. It is observed at Mohenjo-daro that the settlement was destroyed due to floods, which occurred again and again in the city. Each time a new settlement was built again in the same place, one on the top of another. Harappa civilization was an urban civilization. People gave lot of importance to cleanliness and hygiene. Their town planning was very systematic. Systematic means fix planned. Their administrative system was similar to the modern local self-governments. Administrative means organizing. That was for implementation of rules and regulations. And students here, we end your fourth chapter.